Hi guys, thanks for joining me. So today I'm going to show you how I blinged out my acrylic cube, my makeup organizer, how I blinged it out. I was at a point where I just didn't like the fact that I could see all the cosmetics inside the cube. And no matter how much I straightened it out, neatened it out, emptied it out, I just did not like the fact that I could see through it. So today in this video, I'm going to show you what I used, how quick and easy it was, and um, how I changed my, my cube from plain to pretty. So here are the acrylic gemstones I'm going to be using. This is by Victoria Lynn. And it says rhinestone adhesive backed trim, two inches wide by one foot long. So it's going to be the perfect size. I'm going to be kind of dividing each strip into halves and then cutting it. I'm going to show you how easy that's going to be. But this is it. And you can pick this up from your craft store. Michaels has this. You can get them anywhere and you can get them in different colors also take a little bit of alcohol it could be any percentage and take a little cotton swab and then you want to just clean off the area where you're going to be applying the adhesive gemstones so you want to make sure that's clean and you want to make sure it's dry you can dry it off also after you finish wiping it just take a clean towel and just clean off your cube drawer so next these are the gemstones we're going to be using these are the clear I'm going to take it out the package so we can get started. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to know how big your drawer is from top to bottom. And based on the gemstones that I'm using today, I'm going to measure it. And it's going to tell me, because I've already pre-measured it, that I have to count six gemstones down in order to fit this whole width right here on the acrylic drawer. So one, two, three, four, five, six gemstones down, and then there are six more left. So what I'm going to do is just fold this in half. I've already done this already, guys. So when you fold it in half, just take your time. Take your time, go all the way across, just mashing the gemstone plastic in half. You can flip it over if you like, and just mash it down again. And so that's how I'm going to be doing it. So after we get it folded in half, like you see it here, after we get it folded in half, you can take your scissors, take, take your scissors, and now we're just going to cut this in half right down the center. And you can see your center because it's folded nicely. And it's not difficult to cut, it's really rather easy. So you want to make sure now you have it lined up here from one corner to the next because now this is going to help us determine how, how long our strip of gemstone should be. And so once you get to the other side of your corner right here, you can just kind of hold it and then pinch it so you would know where to cut it. So I've got mine pinched right here. And now I'm going to just cut that. So now I'm going to take the other half and just place the one that I just, just cut on top and I'm going to cut it. You can score it again if you like, but you don't have to. And so now we have two halves that should fit on our acrylic drawer very nicely. Okay, so now one of the last things we have to do is we wish, you just want to line it up. Make sure that it, it fits properly. You don't have anything hanging over your corners here. You don't have any extra hanging there. If you do, you can just trim any little bit that's there. Just trim it off. And now 
Finally, the next move is going to be, and let me turn my drawer around so you can see what I'm talking about. Here, we want to cut out the little finger opening right here. There's a, there's a finger opening there, so you want to cut that out. And so what I'm going to do at this point is take a marker. You can use a pencil, a crayon, anything that will create your mark for you. Making sure that everything is lined up properly. You want to take your marker, you want to go in, and on the white side only, that's the back that we're going to peel off, you want to draw your cutout just like that. So right now I'm just going to follow this guide and cut that out. So now I'm going to peel off the backing of the gemstone adhesive and apply it to the case drawer. And this adhesive is very strong and sticky. It won't peel off later. So all you have to do, and what I like to do is, and you can do it any way you want if you choose to do this, I just line up the bottom edges and gently come up and then apply a slight bit of pressure so when you want to put it down you want to go very slowly and make sure that it's on properly and you can always peel it off and reapply and I think that's it so that's it guys that's how easy it is so I'm going to show you the finished project okay guys here it is here's the finished project and it looks so nice guys I really really love the way it came out so let me move in just a little bit show you what that looks like let me close that drawer okay guys so that's it thanks so much for joining me I appreciate it if you have any questions just please leave them below in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.